Handy Hudson Knight here. In this video, I'll show you how to change the temperature in the refrigerator or the freezer in a Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. It's really easy to do. Let me get into how to do that. Here we are at the control panel in the Whirlpool refrigerator. In order to change the temperature on either the refrigerator or the freezer side, all we have to do here is come to the temp button, press and hold this. There'll be a countdown, and once that completes, you'll see the temperature of the fridge side by default first, and 37 degrees is the recommended temperature. So I highly stress keeping it at that temperature unless for some reason the environment you have your refrigerator in warrants that you need to change this. And keep in mind that turning down the temperature does not make your refrigerator or freezer cool faster. Um, so the way you adjust this temperature on the fridge side is you have arrow keys and you can press to go down cooler or up to go warmer and then to get to the freezer setting you just press the so it says select zone press that again and the recommended temperature for the freezer side is zero degrees but if you need to change it you can go cooler or you can go warmer now if Fahrenheit isn't really the uh, scale that you like to work with here are the units we can change that to Celsius or we can change it back to Fahrenheit where which is what I'm used to and then once you make the changes let's say you do make the change you would press confirm here to set the temperature but I'm not going to do that I'm going to put it back to the setting I had it at and you'll see the confirm button disappears because that's the setting I had it at if you just want to get out of this menu then just tap the back button and you're back to the main control panel. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions related to changing the temperature in either the refrigerator or the freezer side of the Whirlpool side-by-side -side refrigerator. And to give this video a like so that more people can benefit from this tutorial. And make sure to subscribe to my channel so that you can get more up-to-date tips on refrigerators and a lot of variety of topics. I'll see you in the next video.